record on this fucking thing. I'm gonna give you one of these too, right? That's a good sound. You can see that fucking audio wave. You can line it up with that. How do you like that? Awesome. You recording video on this shit? Yep. All right. All right, so finally, we're ready to roll, guys. I want to thank you again for taking the time to speak with us. Appreciate it. Fucking good to be here. And let's just What'd jump right into uh, this leg of the tour. What's what's the mindset and what's the approach on this one? Just to, just to... I just don't want to crash. Talking about... Well, it's our first bus, and we're here on the east side, and and we don't come over here that much, and I know there's a bunch of mountains. And Talking to the east Can coast? we say shit? You can say whatever the fuck you want, dude. You're in Steel Fucking Panther. When I'm when we're driving, I just don't. I just want to get to the next destination alive and do bitch and well, kicks. Put your seatbelt on, then, dude. You know. I will. Thank and you. you kids should put your fucking seatbelts on too. Don't be a don't be a dickhead. Okay. Uh, unless, Especially if you're drinking and driving, you know. That's just because there's a good chance of you're gonna get in a wreck then. Make sure you're belted up and shit. Have you guys ever, has that ever happened to anybody that you know of? My mom used to put my seatbelt on me all the time when I was littler. Oh, dude, I'm pretty sure Lexi was in a few accidents when he was a kid, you know. That's why he wound up a bass player, you know. I mean, somebody's got to play the bass. You're holding it down, though, you know. Great fucking job, dude. I thank you for saying that in the camera and everything. You're welcome. And uh, I also want to find out uh, new music on that ride. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of new music on the horizon, dude. You're talking about Steel Panther we music? We can't predict the future. Oh. Steel Panther music. Our music. Yes, our music. Oh, yeah. There's some stuff coming down the pipe, if you know what I'm saying. Dick. No, I'm not talking about dicks. You said no. pipe, though, and pipe, another word for dick is pipe. Yeah, it's convenient. Like, I fucked that girl with my pipe. Or like, you no, know, like, sometimes if you say, I'm going to clean your pipes, then it would be a vagina. It's not always a dick. Write that down, kids, because mm-hmm. sometimes you're going to talk about pipes like it's a dick, but it could be a vagina. I'm going to clean your pipes, ma. You know? Yes, we got a bunch of new bitching songs coming out, right? Yep, we do. Just and we're, gonna... what's cool is that since we're touring, we're able to, since technology now, we're in the thousands, that we can bring our studio on the bus and we can record some of the background vocals and stuff we can we can do the background vocals and all like all kinds of stuff on the bus guitar parts bass parts and whatever we need to do finish or fix you know if it needs fixing like if you know like the bass isn't totally locked in with the drums you know someone can fix it if it needs to get fixed on the bus with a little laptop computer and it's all digital and bitchin' and compressed and hot and bitchin' and rad and sexy. Just you know? like your bass player. So I don't give a shit if you have to fix anything. And I know what you're saying. You're saying that I you probably have to fix I all my sh- I didn't... What do you mean you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. Don't read between the lines of my what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not fixing your bass parts, okay? If I was going to fix it, I would just re-record the whole bass part. Oh, sorry. You're welcome. Any, uh, <coughs> song titles? Yeah, you want to hear a song title, don't yeah. you? Or should we tell them a song title? Can I do one? You want to do one? Gang Bang in the Old Folks Home. Gang Bang at the Old Folks at Home. At the Old Folks Not Home. In the I know, folks at home. there, because it, but you're gang banging in there, right. inside of it. You are going to be. At, yeah, you're right. It's at. Gang Bang at the Old Folks Home. That's going to get. I mean, I, I'm not psychic, although I used to make a, a living reading tarot cards. Great money in that, by the way. A lot of stupid people out there. Just fucking tell them, make up some shit, and they come, they give you a bunch of money. But I'm not really psychic, and but I will predict the future that Gang Bang at the Old Folks Home is going to go at the probably place. top ten. Top, top ten in the Philippines. On the rock charts. The rock prison charts. Which is very hard to get your music in. It, 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 Most people can't even get near those charts. Mm-hmm. They don't even show those charts to people. You know that? What's so funny about that? That's not horrible to this. But I'm not getting any younger. And you know what the good news is? What is? 
what else are we going to catch? You know what I mean? What else, what other diseases are, could we possibly catch at this point? You have so many diseases festering down there on your crotch. That's why it looks like a looks like a minestrone soup down there. It's yeah. horrible. And I saw him get undressed. It's terrible. Well, well, you know, when I really, because I was shaving close, so you could see all the, I had, yeah, he could see them. You that, shouldn't shave that close because you know I don't it anymore. Rips the scabs off and stuff. It's terrible. Horrible. It looks like a, looks like he wasn't wearing a seatbelt down there. If you know what I mean. Stop seeing. Got in a car accident. Stop it. What was your favorite guest uh, appearance with you guys? Because obviously stars come out to jam with you guys. So who was your who was your, who was your favorite? That is the best fucking question you've so asked far. so far. I didn't even think your other questions were that good, to be honest with you. But that that one was good, right? I would have to say, yeah. Um, yes. No, but what was the answer to the question? Then? Oh, who's your favorite guest? My favorite guest had to be guest. Guess what mine is. Guess what yours is. Guess. I mean, guess. I'm not gonna guess. I'm not gonna guess. I'm not playing fucking games with you. I don't give a fuck who your fucking favorite guest is. He wants to know. I don't fucking care. I'm not gonna guess. Out of all the favorite guests, I would have to say Pam Anderson. That's my guest. Yes. Damn it. That was that was a that was a good one. That was a good one, huh? I fucked you up because you were gonna say something else and now you know having Pam Anderson on stage was pretty bitch even though she looked I pretty fucking I beat can't get at the time. Fucking over Tom, that. Tommy Lee was your favorite guest. No, Tommy Lee wasn't my favorite, but Tommy mm-hmm. Lee was oh but there's I would say Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson, because really? because you're gonna pick Jessica Simpson over Steven Tyler, dude. Steven Tyler jammed with us, and he was bitching. He had a great time. I started playing Walk This Way. I said, I'm not gonna stop playing this fucking lick. Steven Tyler is sitting in the audience, just sitting there, watching me. Probably I thinking my, I'm sexy. I take my guess back. Steven Tyler. I already picked Steve, though. You can't pick him. Tell him you what happened. Fucking Jessica, uh, Jessica fucking Simpson, dude. I wish I could take. And then I was back. like, played Walk This Way. I went, you know the riff. It's fucking rad. And I was like, I just went to the mic. I went, I'm not gonna stop playing this fucking lick until Steven Tyler gets up and fucking jams with us. And guess what, dude? He fucking jumped on that fucking stage, lickety split, like a fucking like he was a, like I was a like. He, he was hungry and we were a buffet he ran up there onto the stage grabbed that microphone and he started singing walk this way and we what did we do we walked right where he told us to walk we jammed with that jammed with him he put his arm he put his little black fingers around my um uh <laughs> around my neck and, and he's bitching it was like i for for that fucking three minutes i was joe perry dude not quite as ripped as him but it felt like it felt killer dude. Didn't you are good? you Thank you. I've been I've been doing a lot of push up lately. But Joe Perry, I, I don't I don't have the same kind of steroids that he does. Mm-mm. So yeah, I got find the right combination. Of You're kind of like Lynch, like thank you, like a Lynch. Lynch back in the old days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Except yeah. Except what? Except I think you're way hotter than George Lynch. I'm not as tan. I know what you're going to say. And I'm very tan. tan. Well, that's because he lives in Arizona. Okay. I'm not the as sun's... tan as George Lynch. I'm sorry. Not everybody can be as tan as George Lynch. Okay. Not everybody can, but he lives. Not to bring it up in front of everybody. I didn't mean to. That's just awkward now, you know. Well, it's still. It's, I you know have, want you have an more. unfair advantage because the sun hits Arizona before it hits California, so he has a jump start on you. It's not fair. It's not fair. And you talk about the uh, new album. Um, give us a timetable of when fans can expect new stuff, and also, you know, how do you know when a song is ready? Oof. That's a really. Those are both really. That good is questions. the second. That, I would say that question is better than second, the one he had before. Better than wow! I keep getting better than huh? Ah, uh, well, you know what? I think that we're probably going to have it out around the Septemberish zonal area, and um, but you know, how do you know when a song is ready? Um, you know, it's not always easy because when you you know, I I like I like write a lot of songs on my own, and I know what I like as far as lyrics and music and stuff but when you get the whole band involved and you record a song it's it's different you've got to you've got to everybody's got different personalities and, and you got to make sure you know that like 
there's going to be little things that change here and there that feel better with different guys. It's different than doing like a demo on your own where you sing and play all this stuff. You get the whole band involved, and it's when you're doing a record, you don't know it's done until until it's done, dude. And then when it's done, you go, oh shit, it's done. I mean, Satchel says so. Right. Wow, what do you think about that? What did you just say? Black, Black Sabbath. Sabbath. What about them? They're back together, dude. Oh. Is is Britney Fox back together? That's all I give a shit about. I don't care. Or, or I mean, I know Cinderella got back pitching. together and did a Safe tour. Safe pitching. Yay, Black Sabbath's back together. I'm fucking stoked that Black Sabbath is back together. Fucking yeah, give up. Ozzy, oh. fucking Bill Ward, dude. Come on, Geezer. <clears throat> Geezer Butler, bro. Tone, bass tone, bruh. Yeah. Guy plays with his fingers. I want to see. Bass, you huh? know, since we're in New York too. I mean, danger, Tony danger, Iommi, dude. D- danger, danger. If Ted Pulley can get that band back together, and they did a tour, okay, then maybe they can. It could be a Def Leppard or, or be a, a Deep Purple and and uh, you know, Danger, Danger tour. I'd go. Then I'd see Deep Deep Purple. But I would want, Talking like, Black I would want, now. or Black, Black Sabbath. Sabbath. Aren't they the not same? Isn't that the no, same? Didn't they, the same didn't they combine? Black Sabbath and Deep Purple are totally different bands. Richie Blackmore was in Deep Purple. Tony Iommi was in Black Sabbath, dude. That guy plays better with half his fingers than a lot of guys do play with their, their whole fingers. Did you ever hear Naughty Naughty by Danger Danger? Yes, yes. Well, I did. I know what you're doing. You're making fun of my band. I'm not making fun of your fucking band. Danger, 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 Danger wasn't quite as big as Black Sabbath. I know that Danger, Danger was bitching, and they're your favorite band ever. Black Sabbath, dude. We're talking about Iron Man. We're talking about fucking. We're talking about the Paranoid record, dude. One of the best records ever made. Danger, Danger was so gonna... badass they had to name their name twice. No other band Maybe does they that. They shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Another another good question, and yes, we have had. I mean, I personally, that's why I don't have a last name. I'm just Satchel now, because uh, I don't want to talk about it. But in certain about forty seven states uh, in the continental United States, uh, if I mentioned my last name, I could be hauled in for questioning. And uh, but with just one ne- name, with just my first name, Satchel. One time he did all kinds of weird shit with animals. Let's not talk about it. Okay? We don't have to bring that up. Because then you're just giving clues to the FBI and the CIA and the DEA and other agencies that are involved in tracking these kind of kinds of things. And I don't want to do that. You don't need to rile those and guys And the up. animals rights people that are... Oh, I'm not afraid it, of PETA, dude. I will take on fucking PETA with one fucking arm tied behind my fucking dick. All right? Peter can fucking suck my left fucking nut, dude. I'm gonna wear my fur coat on fucking stage, all right? Okay? No, those animals don't even know they got shaved, all right? Yeah, it was, I mean, so the only time an animal would know what's going on is when he's colder, huh? And then you could just grow more hair back because they're living. Grow your hair, grow your hair back. Dude. Why, did, why, why is do those animals get... like not? They should learn how to grow their hair faster. You know what I do? I, I mean, that's that's the thing here. It's like if if anybody would ever just want to wear my hair around for like a coat or something like that, I would just go, okay, well, fuck you. Then I'll just grow my hair back out. Nobody can stop me. But Nobody can I stop guess, you from growing your fucking hair back out. And you kids should fucking grow your hair out too. I mean, don't you just sit around there like a dick without any hair, right? You get, look at this. Don't get frustrated with him. I just can't imagine. How he looks. He looks good, man. He looks fucking really good. I wouldn't look nearly this good unless, if not, unless my hair. So fuck Peter. <sighs> Gosh. Um, well, I'm pretty sure uh, fucking uh, May and June are coming up next, and then July. And after that, uh, how do you August. Know? How do you know? Do you have? How do you know? Because that's how it goes. That's how the months go. So the next five, six months would be probably up to uh, September. 
We have to wait to see that. We have to wait till this month is at the end until we know the next month. October would be the next six months, all the way through October. Uh, I wait till the very last day of the month, and then I see what month it's going to be. Well, that's cool because you live in the present moment, and you don't, you know, that's why you're always so. What about focused. releases, tours, that kind of thing? No. The what? Oh, releases, tour. We're on tour right now. Right. Yeah. And the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round. That's sometimes we sing that to the really young girls that get on the bus because it's easier to get in advance. I mean, that's just music they're more familiar with. And that's another reason. There was one girl I think he had. She was only she was thirteen years hey, old. Hey ho! So anyway, our tour is doing great, and our new record is coming out in like September, right, Lexi? I think so. Uh huh. Whenever you say it's gonna come out in September. Whenever you think it's done, it's gonna be done soon, and it's gonna be bitching. And there's a song called Glory Hole too. Uh huh. Where you put your penis in the hole. That's what that's about. And something suck, something on the other side sucking it. And you don't, you even don't know even, what's on it. You don't know what it could be. It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be a fucking goat. It could be an ant. And then that's the other thing. It could be an anteater. It, that's huh? sucking your dick. Speaking you of don't goat, care. one time we were in Missouri. And there was a goat. We're not going to talk had. about that right now. I'm Lexi Fox. And I'm Satchel. We're in the band Steel Panther. Steel Panther. And you are watching Artisan News. Artisan News.